you friends it's Abby from twist me pretty make sure to subscribe and today we're doing the soft Dutch braid so you're gonna give yourself a deep side part and then I'm gonna kind of throw this into slow-mo for a minute so that you guys can get how to do a Dutch braid what you're going to do is separate the hair into three separate strands and then these outside strands are gonna go under the middle so I'm braiding the top strand under the middle and then the bottom strand under the middle and then you're going to put all three strands into the hand that's closest to your face. And with your other hand, you're going to add a new section of hair to that top strand. So it's basically like a French braid, except for we're braiding those outside strands underneath that middle section instead of over. So we're going to take that section and we're braiding it underneath the middle section. Transfer all three sections into your top hand. And then with your free hand, you're going to add a new section of hair to that bottom strand. And I'm holding that bottom strand in between my pointer finger and my thumb. And that makes it really easy to add to. So once you've added hair to that bottom strand, you are going to braid it underneath the middle. So Dutch braids are like all the rage right now. And it's really important that you figure out the handhold. That's probably the most important thing when you're braiding is that you don't get confused with all the separate strands. So practice this really slowly and don't look in the mirror when you do. Just focus on the three strands alternating the outsides underneath the middle. And every time you add a new strand of hair to the top or to the bottom, you're gonna directly braid it under the middle. Also, I have to thank all my new subscribers. Holy moly, you girls. I just love you so much. I am so excited that we're friends now. And it's going to be so fun to follow along with the rest of these 15 days. Uh, after the 15 days, I'll be posting a new hairstyle tutorial every Wednesday. So the fun has just started. I'm glad you guys are following along. So right here, as you can tell, I've been angling the braid downwards. And I've kind of followed my hairline. Right above my temples though, I stopped adding hair from next to my hairline because I really want some hair kind of touching my face by my ear and you can really do it however you want to. Um, right here, I'm just finishing the braid off with a regular three strand braid. So once you get a couple inches past your ear, I'd go ahead and just do a three strand braid. And then I sprayed it with hairspray and now I'm gently pulling and tugging on these pieces and I know some of you commented um, in the alternative braid hairstyle that you didn't love the pancaking and that it totally bugged you. But I love to pancake because I feel like my hair isn't very thick and it really does need the extra volume. Plus I feel like when hair isn't stuck to your face, especially when you're braiding right along your head, it just looks more romantic, kind of fun and flirty instead of um, super little girl. So if you are a little girl, then by all means. But if you're like 15 and over, you should be giving yourself some volume. I feel like it's it's much more pretty and older looking. Um, but so as you can tell, I'm just pancaking the braid, pulling out those styles, and I'm being very gentle with it because you don't want to pull out too much. So if you pull out too much, sometimes I've had to start braids over, and it's it's definitely no fun. So just gently, gently pulling on this braid. And I do all the filming by myself, so my camera kind of goes out of focus on me sometimes, but I'm trying to figure all that out. I'm definitely new at this, so bear with me. You guys are so sweet. Um, and yeah, so make sure to use the hashtag 3030hair. On Instagram, I'm twistmepretty, 
and I want to see all your cute, beautiful faces and your hair inspired by this series. So if you try one of these styles or are even just inspired by something, I would love for you to tag me on Instagram. It's so fun to see all of you guys participating and kind of following along. So right about here, I'm going to tie it off with a clear elastic. And I don't get my elastics from Walmart. I buy them from Sally's Beauty. I feel like they're more stretchy and flexible and a little bit less damaging on my hair. So I'm just going to tie it off and then pull it around your head and lift up some of your hair because you're going to kind of tuck it underneath. So I'm tucking it underneath and here I have some blonde bobby pins that I also got at Sally's. And these are my favorite. They grip the hair so well. So I wouldn't use Walmart bobby pins either, especially if your bobby pins aren't holding and it's frustrating. Try to get some heavy duty bobby pins. So I'm just creating an X right there and then I'm just pulling the hair down and I think that I might be wearing one little weft of extensions I can't remember it looked like it almost but thumbs up if you liked this hairstyle and comment below if you want me to do a tutorial on the curls they are coming up after the 30 days I promise I'll get to it we'll see you pretty little things tomorrow visit me at twistmepretty.com for step-by-step -step instructions and more pictures see you later bye guys